morning. This is Ms. Billerbeck, and we're going to talk about 1.7 estimations and accuracy of calculators. Estimation is the process of finding an approximate answer to a numerical problem. Sometimes it just takes a lot of effort to get the answer, so if we can learn to approximate, we can at least ballpark the answer and then when we do all the hard work of getting the exact answer, we can verify that we're in the right, it's a, it's a sane answer. You know, it's, we did a sanity check, okay? But the ballparking or estimation is a really important technique in math that we use all the time. All right, so let's find the estimate of 5,836 plus 2,325 by rounding each number to the nearest thousand. So what that means is we're going to add, well, the nearest thousand is the five. Five's got an eight next to it. So the eight tells us how to round. So five or more raise the score. That's definitely five or more. So we're going to round, um, this to 6,000. And we're going to round this one. This is four or less, let it rest. So we're going to round that to 2,000. So that equals 8,000. So this is going to be about 8,000 when we're done. Okay, so now let's round to two, or we're going to go to two significant figures. So that's 58. So we have 5,800 plus, and then we have 2,300. So let's see what that's going to be. So if we add that together, we get 0, 0, 3 plus 8 is 11, carry a 1, 2 plus 5 is 7, plus 1 is 8. So these are pretty close. All right, well, let's do the exact one. I'm going to use my dry erase calculator over here in the corner. So I have five, eight, three, six, and I'm gonna add 23, 25, add those up. I get 11 carry one, six, 11 carry one, eight. So the real answer was 81, 61. So that was pretty close. Okay, so estimation, I like that one, two significant figures. That was a pretty close one. This was a little off. All right, let's look at another one. So let's estimate the value of eight or 79.5 minus 3.21 times 29.5. 0.52. Eh, this is about 80, so let's go with 80. Okay, and that's about 3. And that's about 29, so let's make that 30. Ah, it's really easy. So 3 times 3 is 9, and then we have a 0, and we have 80. So 80 minus 90 equals negative 10. Okay, so if we round to, um, well, let's actually find out what the real one is. So we have 79.5 minus, and if we multiply that, we I'll use the dry erase calculator over here. So we have 3.21 and um, that would be 2592. Leave a space here for if this is in the 20s position, so that's where that zero is coming from. Two times two is four, then two times five is 10, two times eight is nine, and two times two is five. And now we're going to multiply from a hundreds position, so we're going to put two zeros. So three times two is six, three times five is 15, carry one, three times nine is 27, plus one is 28, and three times two 
is six plus two is eight. So when we add that together, we have two, nine, 15, 17, 14, and nine. And then we have to move the decimal one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. So after all that hard work, this was 94.7592. Well, that's a lot of work. I like this estimating thing, don't you think? We just got 90, but that was a little off. Okay, so um, we're going to subtract. So this is smaller, so let's just put this under here, and we're going to subtract away. And then we're going to remember that the bigger number was negative, so our answer is going to be negative. So that's 79.5. Um, so all this comes down. Then we have two. We're going to take one from here. So 14 minus 9 is 5. And this is 15. And it would be negative 15.25. So negative 10, it was kind of a ballpark. It wasn't really, I mean, the real answer is this. But look at all the work we had to do. So this is really quick to do an estimator. All right, so let's estimate the value of this. Wow, I know a cube root. That is very close to that, so I'm going to use this. So I'm going to use a thousand. And then this one, um, that's between the square root of 36, which is 6, and the square root of 49, which is 7. Okay, it's, it's 4 away from this, and it's 9 away from that. Okay, so, um, but I would like to have a, a, um, a good number. So since I rounded up to this, I'm going to round up that too, okay, just to keep the rounding proportional. So I'm going to say this is the square root of 49 because I'm dividing. So if I round up on the top, I should probably round up on the bottom to minimize my errors. But we can try it with the other one too. All right, so... Um, this is the cube root, and 10, 1,000, if I take a 10 out, I get 100, and I take a 10 out, I get 10. So this is 10 cubed. So I chose that because it's easy. Okay, so when we're estimating, we go easy. That's the key of estimating, easy. So this is just 10 divided by 7. It, that might not be easy, but we know 10 divided by 5 is about 2. So um, so we can do uh, 10 divided by 5. Let's do that really quickly. So we have 1, and we have 3. Drop a 0 down. That gives us a 4. Um, so 28. Um, and we'll just do one more. So that's still, you know, that's about two. So this approximates to about 1.4. Okay, if we had done six instead of seven, okay, if we had gone over here and decided that we were going to do um, this, cube root of 1,000 divided by the square root of 36, um, we would have gotten 10 divided by 6. And let's do that. Let's see what we got. So that gives us 1. So we have 6. We subtract, we get 40. That gives us another 6. So that's 36, and we're back to 40. Um, so this is going to be, 
this will approximately be 1.7 because this is going to be a 6.6 six, and it's going to keep going. Okay, so we're between 1.4 and 1.7. So this is about, um, that's about 1.5. Okay, so let me do this on a calculator and see what the real number was. Okay, so I am going to do a cube root, so 990, and I am going to do an enter, and I'm going to do a one third 0.333 exponent. That's kind of sophisticated for you. So this came out to be 9.96. And then I'm going to divide that. So now I'm going to do 40 square root, divide. Oh, and it was 1.5. So the act, the real number was 1.575. Okay, so 1.7, 1.4. So we were really close in between those. Okay, so um, this one was actually. Well, 1.575, so that's almost pretty good. And that one's not so bad either. So that's just estimating. We're getting a ballpark. Okay, so now let's talk about estimating and irrational numbers. So um, let me pull up. Uh, something as so what I want you to do is get a calculator out and try these this is 2 divided by 3 and then 2 divided by 3 times 4 and note the ending number and then this is the square root of the square root of 3 and then square it twice and see if it get, comes out to 3 and then I want you to try the square root of the square root of the square root of square root of 3 and then square it four times to see if it comes back to three. Okay, so we're, we're checking to see if the calculator is accurate. So if we do that six times and then square six times, see what happens on your calculator. And while you're doing that, I'm going to get this other file up so you can, there it is, so we can see what we need to see. So let me go back to where I was. And I'm going to share screen. Okay, so this is the number family. So on the number family, these are all real numbers here, okay? So we start with natural numbers, which are like caveman numbers, counting numbers. They saw one buffalo, two buffalo, three buffalo. They had no concept of zero, okay? So it wasn't <coughs> until, you know, uh, I think the Chinese in the Middle East, they came up with the idea of zero for the first time. So um, then a new family of numbers was created called, called whole numbers. So whole numbers, the only addition to, to uh, natural numbers was zero. And then integers were introduced when negative counting numbers were introduced. Rational numbers were introduced when we had a negative nine over two. Um, you know, you can write it as a fraction with two integers in the numerator and denominator. You could have a terminating decimal that ends. Terminating means ends. Or a repeating decimal. So this would be 7.12121121 forever. Okay. But irrational numbers are decimals that never repeat and go on forever. Like pi. Pi is 3.14. Um, it just keeps going on. Um, 
I think it's 3.14159, and it keeps, it just keeps going. So, um, and the square root of two is called an irrational number because it, it um, is when you figure out what the square root of two, and let, let's do that right now. So two, two square root, that's 1.414213636. And, and pi, um, let's see where it is, there it is. It's 3.1415927. And it keeps going. My calculator just stops. It doesn't have a screen as big as pi, okay? So this is the number family of real numbers. So we have rational numbers and irrational numbers. So, um, so that's what we need to talk about is irrational numbers right now. So well, that's why we're looking at that number theory. Okay, so back to this. Okay, we should have seen, had we done two, and this is a reverse Polish calculator. It's older than you. It's from 1981. Okay, so see how it rounds to seven right there on this? Okay, so there's a seven right there. Okay, so that's a rounding of my calculator. So now I'm going to multiply by four and see what happens. Oh, shoot. I forgot. I can't do that with reverse push. Okay, so there we go. And then I have to put the number in first and then the operation. Okay, so again, I end up rounding right here. Okay, so it's a rounding at the end. That's still going off 666 six, 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 six forever. Okay, so if we did three square root and then square root again, that's what we get. And then if we square twice, we get three again. So no problem. Okay, so let's try that four times. One, two, three, four, and now we're gonna square four times. One, two, three, four. No problem. Okay, so let's start with three again, and we're gonna do this six times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and now we're going to take this six times. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that is not three. That is not three. That's 2.9999 going on forever. So these are called calculator errors. Um, so let's look at another calculator error. Okay, so with your calculator, um, we are going to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we're going to add 0 0.008. And that's what we get. Okay. Now we're going to subtract one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we should get that, shouldn't we? That's what we think. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, minus. Oh, we got zero. Our eight is gone. That is not what we were expecting, was it? No, 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 no. Okay, that is a calculator error. All right, so let's try this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we are going to take 0.993 and we're going to add. Okay, so I added 0.993. Now I'm going to subtract, and this is a really weird calculator because it's reverse Polish notation, so no one could steal it and because nobody can use it but me. Okay, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, minus. Oops, that didn't minus. Okay, let me do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I'm going to enter, I think I forgot to enter, 0 0.993 and add. Okay, so now I added that properly. So reverse Polish is very difficult. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, subtract. Ooh, it rounded this to one. Do you see that? That's a one right there. That is a one. It is no longer point nine nine three. It rounded it up. Okay, so what are we talking about here? Okay, we are talking about truncation and rounding errors. So what truncation is, and it's part of the software in all calculators, this is from 1981. They've been doing this from the dawn of the calculators since we moved away from slide rules, okay? Slide rulers. So truncation is just ending an a, a number that never ends, you know, that keeps going. Rounding is, oops, that's not rounding. Rounding is going up to six, seven. Okay, so that's that's rounding where we just move the set six to the seven, to a seven, okay? But truncation, it just ends it. So calculators have truncation errors and they have rounding errors. So we have to be aware of that. So we don't want to round with our calculator until the very, very end. Otherwise, we'll get these calculator errors. So let's find 5.6 or 56.48 times 13.87 rounded to three significant figures. Okay. So I am going to. Um, well, let's do this with a dry erase calculator. So we have 56.48. Actually, we're using calculators right now, so let me just use a calculator. Because you have one in your hand, so we might as well use it. So 56.48, enter, 13.87, and then I'm multiplying. This is that's how you do reverse function. Just taught you that because now my calculator can be used by others. Okay, so we have seven, eight, three point three seven seven six. Okay, but it says round to three significant figures. So that's one, two, three. Oh, well, the three's there, so it's four or less, let it rest. So this number is 783. So that is rounded to three significant figures. All right, this one says find this rounded to three significant figures. Oh, okay, so I already rounded to three significant figures up here. So I took this four, since there's an eight here, I rounded it up to five. So this is rounded to three significant figures, but it's this number rounded to three significant figures. This eight, since I have a seven here, it's still five or more raised the score, so I have to round that up, so it's 13.8. So let's find what that is. So I have 56.5, enter, then 13.9, and I'm going to multiply, and I get 785.35. So if I'm rounding that to three significant figures, then my answer is 785. Okay, so that is off. These are different numbers. Okay, so we have to be careful about rounding, and especially rounding too early. So if we have one of these, if your teacher is kind enough to let you use a calculator, which I'm not sure if I'm that teacher. Okay, so just today you get to use a calculator. So um, if you have this and this, um, you don't want to round these numbers until the very end. Because when we round them before we start, then we, we are way, we're off a lot more than the original answer. Okay, so that's the lesson today. It is about estimating and accuracy of calculators.
So I hope you learned something valuable today. Just don't round too early, okay? Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.